They say never judge a book by its cover. But then again, back in my childhood, cover was a very, very important thing for all of us. Now, if you look at this particular thing over here, this is my CD and DVD collection. Back in the days when I was in school, ever since I was in class 7, my hobby was to watch old English movies, preferably old English horror and thriller movies. So back in the time, whenever I could, I would save up on a bit of pocket money so that I could buy it, buy the CDs and DVDs. In that time, we did not have stuff like uh, torrent, stuff like Netflix from where you can download movies. So the only thing we could do was when we needed to watch these foreign movies, we would have to buy them. And there were stores like Music World, Planet M, and Rhythm and many others catering to our needs. So I'm just going to tell you a story from my childhood. When I started out watching horror movies in class 7, I was hooked, particularly to the vampire genre the old English horror movies. So I remember the very first movie which I watched from the vampire genre was Dracula. I had read the book earlier but this was the first Dracula movie which I watched. Bram Stoker's Dracula starring Gary Oldman directed by famous American director Francis Ford Coppola. If you take a look at this, this particular art over here gothic kind of art. This intrigued me back in the past and when I had bought this I was more interested in the cover in the cover picture than anything else. Then as I read a bit further I knew that previously the first Dracula movie the first proper Dracula movie was made in the year 1931 starring Bela Lugosi. So after a lot of scourging, I finally came across Bela Lugosi's Dracula in a small uh, planetarium outlet. Sorry, it was not planetarium. I think it was Music World outlet by the Bidhamnagar railway station. Took me two to three months to hunt it down. But finally, I got my hands on this little treasure. Let's check out this. Check out the graphic over here. Back in the day, there was no AI or stuff like that. So, this was pretty much hand-drawn by artists. More than the series themselves, the covers too were intriguing. It's a good one. It was a neat find. Then, it was very difficult, as I became more interested, to get my hands on the Hammer Dracula films starring Christopher Lee. Now Christopher Lee, those of you who are horror freaks, who like horror movies, old horror movies, must be knowing that Christopher Lee did a great role as Count Dracula. He became famous for playing that role. I think he played that role ar around seven or eight times. So I wanted to watch Horror of Dracula, but getting the disc was not easy. Finally, I remember I was in class eight, it was summer vacation and I got my hands on this. It was a single CD movie. Just look at the cover picture. Back in class 8, just looking at this cover picture sends chills down my spine. The eponymous Count Dracula standing, holding a girl, his victim up carrying her somewhere where he can drain her blood. Those were the good old days. Sometimes I would get lucky too. I mean, at times, when I was not even looking, I managed to get another Christopher Lee movie. Another Dracula was starring Christopher Lee. This one was in the Planet M Music Store at CC Center 1. And I got this freaking cheap. I mean, it was rupees 99 only. Yeah. 
and I was a big fan of Sherlock Holmes, most definitely. So uh, I had a lot of collections. The one starring Jeremy Brett, most definitely. They're neatly stacked out over here. Let's take a look. The DVD is still neatly packed in. These were the ones starring Jeremy Brett and I got all the collections, all the Jeremy Brett Sherlock Holmes which are put up over here. Now, the fact about this is, since I was interested in thrillers, as you know Sherlock Holmes is, can very well be regarded as one of the greatest thrillers that ever existed. So definitely I would be watching Jeremy Brett. Uh, Jeremy Brett, he was the greatest Sherlock Holmes that ever existed. He did not play Holmes. He lived Sherlock Holmes, the method actor that he was. Apart from that, there was another guy who played Sherlock Holmes very well and the name of that guy was Basil Rathbone. See the picture over here. I bought the entire Basil Rathbone Sherlock Holmes collection too. This was when I was in my master's degree. I guess I was in the first semester of my master's and I had received a scholarship. The very first time I received the money, I spent quite a lot of that buying this. Beautiful collection, isn't it? The Hound of Boscoville's version, this one, I'm telling you guys, if you are a fan of Sherlock Holmes, you must watch The Hound of Boscoville's version starring Basil Rathbone. Highlighted actor, but still a very good actor, who played the role of Sherlock Holmes was Peter Cushing. He starred in the BBC version of Sherlock Holmes. Once again, during my master's degree years, I was able to get my hands on the entire box set of the movies of Sherlock Holmes starring Peter Cushing. This one too is good, especially The Sign of Four starring Peter Cushing. Now Peter Cushing, he was not very renowned like Jeremy Brett or like uh, Basil Rathbone. But then again, Peter Cushing too has his own way of playing Holmes, just like uh, Robert Downey Jr. He did in the two Sherlock Holmes movies in which he acted. So Peter Cushing too did a great role and this movie starring Peter Cushing, Sign of Four. It was a great one. A neat find as we may call it. Then again, as I started studying more and more, I mean, I was always interested a bit in the gothic and the thriller genre. So as I started studying a bit more about cinema, I found out that many other directors had done, had taken on a lot of literary characters and done a lot of good movies on them too. One such director was James Whale, who for the first time brought Frankenstein to life. This was the Frankenstein version made by Universal Studio. They had two movies. James Whale directed two movies. Frankenstein and the Bride of Frankenstein. Both starring Boris Karloff in the character of Frankenstein's monster. So this one too, it was a great find for me. I think I came across this in Music World shortly, the Park Street one, shortly before it was closed down. Then again, any horror movie freak will probably be knowing this one. I don't even need to tell you the name. It's the Exorcist. So this is the entire collection of all the Exorcist movies. Parts 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. 4 is very little heard of. Very Many people do not know that there was a movie known as Exorcist Dominion. This was a very, very rare collection to come across. I got this collection from Planetum in Seal Center 2. Nowadays, we don't even have these music stores. But those were the good old days when not just watching a movie, even looking at the cover pictures too was important. Holding the hard copy of this in hand, you see, 
This was important. Then again, sometimes these were all branded stuff. But there were times when I had to settle for unbranded stuff simply because I did not have the money or the means to buy certain movies. This was another one. Dracula 2000 and Dracula 3000. Now, both these movies are utter trash. But since I was so interested in the horror genre, I decided to buy them. Now, these movies, they're totally worthless. Definitely, back in my generation, the 90s kids, we grew up with Harry Potter. And it's imperative, therefore, that I have all the Harry Potter movies in VCD format. I mean, I would watch them when they released in the theatres, but I was not satisfied until I had watched them a hundred times, maybe. <laughs> Who knows? And definitely, Pirates of the Caribbean, another hit back from our time. Other movies which I liked, I mean, after watching Pirates of the Caribbean, I became a big fan of Johnny Depp. And so this was the second Johnny Depp movie I watched, Chocolat, and a great one too. It's hard to think that there was such a time when people used to put so much affection into these things. I'm having a week off right now because during the Durga Puja, which is uh, the greatest or rather the biggest Bengali festival in my hometown, Kolkata, we get a two week leave, us who walk in academy, in a two week off. So I plan to revisit a few of those movies during my two weeks off. So this is a little different from the content that I generally share with you on this YouTube channel. But this was something that I remembered and so I wanted to share it with you. If you like my video, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Thank you.